We're now going to show you how to set a Benzing master system when you're using an external radio clock. So, for this one, what we need to do this time is, as you can see, there are a number of portals on the back and nothing is plugged in. Before we set up this system, you need to plug in the printer. So first of all, I'm just going to plug in the printer into the back of it. Now it's really important with Benzins, if you've got a third party switch, which I know some clubs have, Benzin Master will not work with that, so it's, you have to plug the printer directly into the back of the Benzin Master. I did it last year a few times with the switch and it, we had a lot of problems, so now we plug it directly into the back. Now at this point, what we're going to do is we're going to turn on the master system and it will power up. Now, depending on the method we're going to use, we talk about radio clock today, we need to make sure that your clock is ready to receive a radio clock signal. So all we need to do is click the menu button, click the time button, give our authorization card a swipe, and then in the bottom left hand corner it says RCL, which is radio clock, or GPS. So I'm going to select it and what you can do is press up and down to what you want to use. So we're going to use radio clock today and press OK. So that is in the mode now ready to set your radio clock. But please remember to set that every time in the correct way. Now what we need to do is we just need to plug in our uh, radio clock to the symbol that says the clock. Okay, and it's the furthest to the right as you look at it from the back. So we're just going to plug that into the back and now we're going to wait. As you can see, this radio time clock has picked up a signal and it's also transferred that directly to the clock. And the way that we know that is by the beacon appearing on the screen and it's the sound. Sometimes it takes a minute, sometimes as you can see there, it takes a few seconds. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to get a strike report from the Benzene system, which is part of the new rules that were introduced this year. So when you've set the clock, as we've showed, all you now need to do is make sure that the printer's connected, make sure that the radio clock has now been disconnected because it's the clock has acquired the time, and that's great. And now all we're going to do is press the strike button, which is the red button in the bottom left hand corner, and what you'll find is the clock will count down. It will just count down to give you a strike, and it normally strikes dead. As you can see in the top right hand corner, it's 50, 1, 2, 3, and it's counting down. When it gets to zero, it'll strike, and it'll print. Excellent, so as you can see now, it has now produced a strike report. And what it does, it tells you the master time, which was struck on the 16th of the 3rd, 2023, which is today, at 13.07, and that will always be dead, and it is a radio RCL, which means radio clock, and that is the method. You need to produce one of these sheets before you set the clocks or mark any pigeons before the race, and you also need to do this process before you uh, strike off any race uh, clocks after the race. So two sheets, one before the race, and one just before you strike your clocks off uh, on, on the Saturday or whatever day that might be. Those then will be attached with all the, all the uh, member sheets that are using this marker to mark their pigeons.